Hello, welcome to my channel. So in this series, I'm going to start how to create the third person shooter game, which includes creating the player character and enemy character. So now in this video, I'm going to show how to create the basic character setup, like creating the animation blueprints and blend space. And now I will select this third person template and I will give the location and make sure you enable this starter content. And now just give the project name and click on create. So this is a default third person template which comes with the default mannequin character. So if you press F11, it will go to the full screen. And if you press Alt P, we can get this default player. So first what we'll do is we will just change the character, player character, mesh, and also just we'll create the animation blueprints. So just press escape. And now I'm going to download some of the free characters and weapons from the Epic Store. So if you go into this Epic Store, I have already in my library so I can select this survival character free so just I will click on this add to project and make sure you have to select the template like project which you are going to add so select this and click on add to project. So now it has been added into our project and also we will download some free weapons so search for weapons. So here we can see there is an uh, FPS weapon bundle which is free in the epic store so I will click on this add to project. And here at present it is not showing the pro, uh, whatever the project which we have created because as we are creating in the latest project so it supports up to only 4.7 or something but still we can add into our project. So click on this show all project and make sure you to select this thing and here we need to select the latest version. So let's say I will select this 4.27 and click on this add to project. And also I'm going to add this animation starter pack which includes uh, rifle animations, idle, walk and run animation. So I'm going to add this to the project and just click on this add to project, show all and click on this third person and select the version and click on this add to project. So I have already added the project so I'm not going to click this add to project and click on this don't add. So now here we got this uh, starter pack so animation starter pack which we have downloaded from the epic store uh, which includes all the rifle animations and the pistol animations and also the survival character which we have added so this is a character and here we can see the meshes so this is a character which we have downloaded from the epic store and also we have downloaded the like weapon bundle so here we have different kind of uh, weapons uh, so one is like a ar4 so which we are going to use in this uh, tutorial purpose and there are uh, many other things like pistol and SMGs. So here you can see. So first what we'll do is we will replace the character. So as we have the default mannequin character. So if you click on this play. So now you can see this is a default mannequin character. So we need to replace the character which we have downloaded from the epic store. So what we have to do is we have to go to this third person folder and you can find the blueprints uh, of this third person character. So here we need to change the character which we have downloaded from the epic store. So first in order to do that, uh, let us make a copy of this thing because instead of editing the original one, just we will make a copy of this thing. So by pressing control D and you can give any name. So just I will give the name like BP underscore survival. So what we'll do is just we'll change the mesh. So double click on this and go to mesh. And if you go to this viewport, now you can see. And also one thing, uh, this is a UEFI skeleton and also the character which we have downloaded is also a UEFI skeleton. So which will directly match all the animations also. So now you will see this. So if you select this thing and go to mesh and here we can change the character to survival character which we have downloaded and make sure you have to select this character and select this. So as you can see all the animations has been matched because this is also a UEFI skeleton so no need of changing the animation blueprint but still I will show how to create the new animation blueprint which matches to like which which will be related to this skeleton. And now you can see if you press Alt P still you are going to get this default mannequin because now if you go into this world settings. Here you can see there is an option like game mode. So default game mode uh, for this thing is third person character and the default pawn class is the third person character which is this one. So now if you want to spawn this character so we need to change the character here. So what we will do is just we will select this and directly we can drag and drop. So now it has been changed. Now if you play Alt P now you can see. So all the animations are matched perfectly because as we are using the same skeleton UEFI skeleton suppose in case if you are going to use any 
like UE4 skeleton, then we need to retarget the skeleton. So in this case, no need of retargeting the animations or skeleton. So just we can use as uh, the default one. But still, uh, we can change the animation blueprint which relates to this skeleton here. So I will show that in a minute. And also in case if you want to create your own game mode, so instead of using the default game mode, so what we have to do is just I will revert back to this default one. So here we have the default uh, third person game mode. So what I will do is I will show how to create the game mode and also how to apply our character which we have downloaded to that game mode. here. So what I will do is just I will go to the content and create a new folder called blueprints. So now in this blueprint, what I will do is I will create, uh, I will show how to create the game mode. So right click, so blueprint class and here there is an option uh, like game mode base. So create. So let's say give some prefix like game mode underscore third person shooter. Yeah. So this is a game mode. So now we will change this game mode. Uh, so now this third person template level has the game mode called like third person game mode. Now instead of that, we will use this shooter game mode. So just we'll grab this. And now here you can see there is an option like default pawn class. So if you click on this play, nothing will be spawned because as we have not selected any character. Now what we'll do is just we'll go to the third person blueprints and now we'll select this survival game. So just drag and drop. Now if you click on this play, now you got this character with a different game mode. So now if you open this survival character blueprint, so if you open, now you can see these are the default inputs which is given by the Unreal Engine. So this is a jump uh, movement and, and it is also using the enhanced uh, input here and make sure uh, you have to enable the enhanced input plugin. If you are not enable, so go to this edit plugins and search for enhanced input make sure you have to enable and after enable make sure you have to restart the engine okay so now what we have to do is uh, default uh, this blueprint contains a default animation blueprint which is uh, com which comes with the template so instead of this we will create our own animation blueprints which contains the rifle animations now in this we have the default animations like idle walk run okay so instead of these animations we will replace with the another animations so first what we have to do is we need to create the blend space for this thing. So what we'll do is just we will go to this survival character and like we will create the new folder called animations. Okay. So here uh, what we have to do is we need to create the blend space. And also, first of all, before creating the blend space, first we need to re retarget those animations which we have downloaded from the Epic Store. This is the animation starter pack. So here you can see if you go to idle, if you search for idle, uh, you can see there is a different idle animation. So if you double click on this, so this is a default idle animation and also this is a default idle animations. So what we need to do is, yeah. We can select this thing idle rifle. So this will be the good for uh, idle animation. So what we have to do is this animations has to be retarget to the character which we have downloaded from the Epic Store. So what we have to do is just we can right click retarget animation and make sure you need to select the survival character select. And now we can select this uh, idle animation, which is this one. If you double click, now you can see this thing here. So now it has been properly retargeted. So in order to apply this animation to this character, so we need to click on this export and make sure you select the folder. So what I will do is just I will select this survival character animations. Let's say we will, yeah, let it be like a rifle animations. We'll call it as rifle animations and just select this thing and export okay now we got this rifle animation as you can see and now we need to uh, retarget the remaining animations as we go so let's say we will type rifle so there is an option like jog forward rifle so this is a jog so we will select this and click on export animations 
let's say if you search for fire so this is a fire so export and we'll search for walk animation do we have a walk animation so we'll search walk yes yeah walk forward iron sights so this is a walk animation here so we'll select this and apply so now these animations are enough laterally we will add some more animation so we got this uh, fire animation and also we got this idle forward jog and run so now we need to create a blend space by using these animations here so now in order to create the blend space just uh, right click go to animation and here go to legacy and blend space so there is an another blend space uh, which we are not going to use in this uh, series here so now we are going to use the uh, old version of this blend space so now click on this and skeleton like we have to select the character so survival we need to select and bs underscore survival no. so now we got this blend space so double click on this thing so now we need to uh, drag these animations now you can see there is an option like horizontal axis so here we need to give the name called speed and we can give the maximum speed here for time being i'm going to give like 500 so literally it depends on our animation speed we can change this uh, value here so first uh, we need to drag the idle animation in the starting position and later in this we need to drag the walk animation and laterally we need to drag the run animation so what we have to do is just we will search for idle so this is the idle animation and also make sure i will just snap to grid so that it will directly snap exactly to the position so i will enable this thing and directly drag this idle animation now we got this idle animation okay and also now we will go for like walk this one walk animation so now if you want to see this blending you can hold control and drag so that you can see this blending animation here okay so now we will drag this uh, run run forward this is a run forward sorry i think it's not run it's like jog yeah jog forward so we'll select this so now now this is a jog animation okay now we have these three blend animations which is going from idle to walk and walk to run animation so we need to create an animation blueprint in order to apply uh, this to the character so click on this save close now we need to create the animation blueprint so right click animation we need to click create this animation blueprint so select the character survival create let's say animation blueprint abp underscore survival and now what we have to do is if you double click on this so directly uh, it will open a animation graph so we need to drag this blend space which we have created so this is a blend space which we have created with the rifle animations so we need to drag onto this and click on this thing and connect to this uh, outpost and also make sure you uh, create the variable so right click promote to variable so it will create a variable so what we'll do is just it will get this speed of this thing so we will set this speed in the event graph here so so this is a, a default uh, thing we have to use in the animation graph laterally we will create the animation states which we can uh, switch to aim state and also which we can uh, create the crouch animations and jump animations okay. so later videos i will cover those uh, things now we will see how to uh, like move the character defaultly because now if you now what we have to do is we need to select the mesh and here we need to change the animation blueprint which is called survival which we have created now if you click on this now we got this thing but if you play it is not going to play any animations as it is in the idle space uh, idle animation we are not defining any speed so like it is not going to play any walk or jog animations so we need to apply the velocity so what we have to do is just we need to go to animation blueprint and go to event graph so in event graph uh, what we have to do is just uh, drag from this uh, node like called target pawn owner so we need to drag we need to get the 
velocity so first we need to get the velocity and here we need to get the transform like a vector length so we need to select this uh, get vector length this one and also we need to set the speed so this is the speed and click on this so what is this logic is now we are going to get the velocity and the vector from and we are going to set the speed so depends on this velocity because as we go to this character blueprint here you can see there is an uh, max walk speed animation here so defaultly it is like 500 so what is the 500 value uh, as we have created the blend space so here this is the default 500 value so now we are going to get this speed when we use this uh, WSD uh, options here in the keyboard so like in the animation blueprint is it is going to set the speed and it is going to get the speed from this thing so when we set the speed here so it will go to this blend survival blend space and according to the what speed we are going to create for the character it is going to run those animations so now if you press alt t and now if you move now we got this animation see but defaultly we are getting this uh, like jog animations uh, we want the walk animations when we use a w uh, whenever we use the shift option then we need to create the uh, like jog animations here so this is a basic setup for this uh, animation blueprint. So in the next video, I will show how to create the sprint animation because now defaultly here we have only like directly it is going to jog this animation. But what the thing is default, I want to make a walk animation. And when we press the shift, then it has to create uh, like a run the jog animations here. So see you in the next video.